Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Vintage Fridays where we look at Vintage Tech on a Friday. Today's piece of Vintage Tech, we got ourselves a Nintendo Greenhouse. And this is a Nintendo Game & Watch, because this can be used as an alarm clock as well. It's done by CGL, and you can see there it says multi-screen. Now none of that DS rubbish, Nintendo done double screen games before the Nintendo DS. This one here is very, very beat up, but it does work. See there, top's all scratched up, the cover's coming off. I also haven't got the battery cover. Now, I don't think I got it when I got this unit, because I paid about 50p for this from boot sale about 20 odd years ago. I looked on eBay, and the battery cover for this is going around about £30. Now, Nintendo have done loads of these type of games. Uh, my sister had Greenhouse, my other sister had, um, what well, she had, Snoopy Tennis, she had Donkey Kong Jr. I think my mum had a Nintendo Rain Shower, which is quite a rare one, actually, you have to bring in the washing. And uh, yeah, they've done quite a few of these games. And um, my friend James has got Snoopy Tennis as well. And I think this one's boxed. And uh, I think you might even have your own stickers. So you watch this video, Herbert. Have you got the orange stickers in your um, Snoopy Tennis? Now, I saw Snoopy Tennis going for sale in a local CX or CX for £120. Now, if this had been boxed and I had instructions with it and stuff, you're looking at more about £120-odd. Because they they're going for quite a lot of money, actually, boxed. I think back in the day, they were about 30 odd pounds. And there was a shop down the road from me called Thurley's Toys. They used to sell these over the counter. And when it was Christmas time, used to go in there. And my dad would say, Choo choose a game you want. And my sisters had the, like the one had Greenhouse. And one had, uh, I think she had, had Cement Factory, Snoopy Tennis and Donkey Kong Jr. And then the shop closed down around about 96, 97. Well, if I'd known then what I know now, I would have gone in there. Having just start work with my wages. And brought all the Nintendo games up. Let's open it up. We got ourselves the double screen there. You get your playing screen there. Ladder, plants, and the cobwebs because the spiders come down and you have to spray the spiders. The top here, you got another screen there. And it tells you the time there and your score. And you've also got your game A, game B, your time, your alarm, and ACO because this can be used as an alarm clock. And I had a cat and mouse game. I think it's made by Grandstand or it's, it was a like elect, like a electronic game. Same as that red one we reviewed, uh, looked at the other week. It said it was yellow and had a cat and mouse in there. And I used that for years as an alarm clock. And it used to play a fair release from Yankee Doodle or something. It's a um, alarm melody. And you always tell when that was batteries running out because all you heard was a, a just 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 a noise. Anyhow, we've got your controller there. It's actually quite nice actually. The controller works. The spray button works, but could benefit from a good old cleaning. You have to actually press it down. Now it's going to be very hard to uh, film this game because I've got a hold of batteries in whilst trying to play the game. So let's uh, see if this is going to work. Batteries go in. There we go, got batteries in there. Now what I'd like to do at some point is take it apart, give it a nice good old cleaning, try and sort this hinge out because it looks a bit loose. I'm sure I can if it's tightened up in some way because it's a bit floppy loose. I would like to get a battery cover for it. Let's see if this game is any good. Let's go to that one. There we go. Is it going to play? Yeah, it's playing as you see there. The demo. It's going to squirt the spiders. So let's go to the game. It's going to be hard to do this. I can actually use a... There we go. Oh, I've got some points. Let's go across. Oh, got some spiders coming down. Well, I'll die at the top there. Let's... Quick, we're going to cook up the top. Oh, look at that. I'm dying at the top there. Now, like I say, very, very hard to film the screen on this. And I've got 11 points. Let's go across the other side. I've got 14 points. I'm going to let the spider... So the spider has killed that plant. That one's going to kill that other plant. And I'm just going to spray that plant. And you've got some worms going into the other plant. But if I had a proper back for it... Which is... They'd be a lot easier to play when it's got a good old clean. I want to try and tighten this uh, hinge up as well. So what I should have done 
was um, a bit of cardboard over the back there, a bit of tape on there holding it in place. Might have been a bit easier to play. Anyhow, that was a quick look at Nintendo Game & Watch Greenhouse. They've done many other games in the series, and the double screen games existed a long time before the Nintendo DS. If you found the video of some use, not to do, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, that button seems to work too. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it doesn't cost nothing. Just hit the subscription button, hit the bell button to stay notified when I upload new videos. So on a Monday, we do ham radio videos or CB radio related videos. And last week, I looked at setting up messages on the Zygo X6100 for use with Morse code. On a Wednesday, we do Linux Wednesdays. So if your computer won't run Windows 11, because most of them won't, then what you need to do is install Linux. If you're struggling for things to do, take a look at my Linux playlist and you'll see what you can do in Linux. You can pretty much do anything you want used to do in Windows in Linux. And people say to me, well, I'm a gamer. I play on Steam. Well, Steam is available for Linux anyway, so you don't have to be a Windows gamer. And if you want to play games without any problems, just get yourself a games console. You know, the game's guaranteed to work. You ain't got to spend a thousand pounds on a graphics card just to get the game smooth. And on a Friday, we look at vintage tech. We looked at a lot of electronic games, looked at mobile phones, looked at all sorts of stuff. I've got quite a lot of vintage tech here in the shack. We'll be doing more vintage tech next Friday. A ham radio video Monday. Hopefully I'm going to be at a rally. And if so, I can do the video for the rally. And on a Wednesday, do some more Linux related stuff. Anyhow, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. 7-3s for now.